Hello everyone, this is Mihai from X-Way. Let's dive into what's new in the Transfer CFT March release. Before we start, please note the release is compatible with previous releases. We have updated the OpenSSL library to 3.08 to mitigate vulnerabilities found in OpenSSL, versions up to 3.07 that are affected by the CVE 2023-0286 vulnerability. The CFT is not vulnerable, but we have decided to update the library to accommodate our client security requirements. Please refer to the release notes in the description for a complete list of fixes and product enhancements. To accommodate our clients' adoption of the latest operating systems, starting with this release, we support Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, Ubuntu 22.04, Rocky Linux 9, and IBM i version 7 R5 for OS 400. We provide an out-of-the-box certificate for the UI for ease of access. For ease of use, we now provide out-of-the-box samples for transferring files using protocols such as PESIT, PESIT SSL, and SFTP. Let me show you. We go to transfers. We perform a first transfer with the model partner Paris using the PESIT protocol. We see that the file has been sent successfully. On the right, we see the protocol column showing PESIT. Now let's do a PESIT SSL transfer using Berlin Partner. Now let's do a SFTP transfer using the Tokyo Ad Local Host Partner. For this example, we use Flow01. We send the same file. All the partners and the used identifiers are predefined, so available out of the box after product installation. CFT March release now has a major change in regards to encrypting files with PGP. A new method of encryption is available to increase the security of file exchanges for sensitive files. For some customers, this is a matter of compliance and regulations. The new PGP feature offers the ability to encrypt, decrypt, sign, and verify files using OpenPGP. PGP uses private and public keys that are stored internally in the Transfer CFT PKI database. You can now manage your PKI keys directly from the Transfer CFT UI. Before, this was not possible. Now let's have a look at the keys section where we can easily import public and the private PGP key. Let's first import the private key. The import is successful. The same operation for a public key. This time, no need to specify the password. As we can see, the operation is successful. We can activate or deactivate any key, and we can also copy the content of the public key. For AWS S3 storage, we now support the WORM model, which allows you to store objects using the right ones read many model. This is useful for protection scenarios where it is imperative that the data is not changed or deleted after it has been written. For some of our customers, this is a matter of compliance. Please find more resources in the description below. Thanks for watching.